Hi guys, it's him again. So last week I gave you guys a science lesson on parts of a stem. This week, um, your math work this week, we're going to be starting on word problems, which some of you have worked with before, um, but some of you have not. So I'm just doing a basic introduction for basic addition, subtraction, and multiplication word problems. So that you guys have it. So we're gonna start with addition. So a word problem is something where the math problem that you have to solve is in a short paragraph or a few sentences. You have to try and figure out what numbers you are using to actually make your problem. So an example for basic addition would be this. Jen has three cats. Max has two cats. How many cats do Jen and Max have? So a couple different ways you could think of it. You can do it all in your head and think that, ah, there's three cats and two cats, and so my problem should be three plus two because the question is how many cats do Jen and Max have? But what you could also do, if you're just starting out, is you could draw it out. Something like that. Jen has three cats, Max has two cats. And my question is how many cats do Jen and Max have total? So I know that Jen has three cats plus Max's two cats equals five. Five cats, and I can count that out. So in one, two, three, four, five cats in total. For those of you that are starting out on basic um, addition problems, this is where you're going to start out this week is with this level of addition problem. And eventually we're gonna move them up so that they're a little bit harder. So another thing that you guys could look at is for basic subtraction, you could have a problem like the one I'm about to write out, which is Ben, sees four rabbits. Two rabbits hop away. And then how many rabbits are left is the question. So a word problem is always going to give you some information about usually different people or different items and how many of them there are. Some of that information as you go on later will be relevant. Like I could say that there was three red rabbits, two yellow rabbits, and one brown rabbit. And it could ask about different questions for different types of things. But in this case, we have information about Ben, who is a person, what he sees, which is four rabbits, what happens to some of the rabbits, two of them hop away, and then our question, which is how many rabbits are left? So we could do this where we just think about our numbers and what happens in our question and figure it out that way. But if you're not quite ready to do that yet, you could do something like this. Drawing out some rabbits. In this case, I don't need to draw Ben, just like I didn't need to draw Jen or Max for the last one, because it's not that important. My question is asking what happens to the rabbits. So I have four rabbits. They're really cute and adorable. And then two of them hop away. So one rabbit hops away, and the other rabbit hops away. So I know that I have two rabbits left. How I would write that out as a subtraction problem is I had four rabbits, two of them hopped away. So I'm going to subtract two rabbits. So four minus two equals two rabbits. And then I could write out two rabbits are left. 
Now, when you are writing out the answer in word form to a subtraction problem, if you are at the point when you're writing the only word, you can do that. Um, you always want to have it be a complete sentence. So if I just said two rabbits for my answer, two rabbits what? Two rabbits left, two rabbits came and joined the other rabbits, two rabbits are dancing. Don't know. So answering that two rabbits are left in the group is what you want to do. So that would be a basic subtraction problem. Um, basic multiplication, for those of you that are on multiplication. Um, if you get to the point where you're at a problem that you don't have, you don't really have to listen to that little bit of part. That's fine if you feel like you would get confused. Basic multiplication. Um, it gets a little bit trickier. Um, you do have to know some of your multiples for it, so it is good work for those of you that are working on your multiples. So the basic multiplication problem I'm going to use is Andrew wants to make sandwiches for his friends. Very nice of Andrew. Um, he wants to make some sandwiches for his friends. In this case, the type of sandwiches doesn't really matter. So, Andrew, though, has four friends. Four friends. If he makes three sandwiches for each friend, how many sandwiches will Andrew make? Can you take a dark pass for the next one, please? This is where it gets a little bit tricky. We have a lot more information here than we had for our basic addition and subtraction. So we know that Andrew is the person who wants to make some sandwiches for his friends. We know that he has four friends and that he wants to make three sandwiches for each friend. And our question that we want to answer is if he makes three sandwiches for each friend, how many sandwiches will Andrew have made? So our numbers here that we have in this equation are four and three. So if I know that this is a basic multiplication problem, I know that I'm gonna be wanting to work with my multiples of four and my multiples of three. So, Andrew has four friends. I'm gonna draw his four little friends. And you'll get to the point where you don't have to draw them, but I think it's helpful when you're learning how to do them to help you extrapolate what information you need. I'm also going to write this one a little bit differently. Four. Andrew has four friends. If he makes three sandwiches for each friend, he's going to multiply four by three. Which means... I draw three sandwiches underneath for each friend. I'm just going to draw little squares for sandwiches. One, two, three. One, two, three. You can't see that. One, two, three. And one, two, three. I can see if I counted, or if I was counting because I went along, that 3, 6, 9, 12. Andrew has made 12 sandwiches. And that would be what I would write the answer as. It is not 12 sandwiches. I would write out a complete sentence of Andrew has made 12 sandwiches. So that is what you guys are going to be working on for your math this week, for learning your addition and subtraction facts, and for your multiplication is working on some word problems. I do have up on Google Classroom a sheet that has six basic addition word problems, another sheet that has some six basic subtraction word problems, and another that has uh, basic multiplication problems. If you are to the point where you're not quite to addition yet and you want to try the basic addition uh, math problems with an older sibling or a parent, that would also be great.
Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. We'll be checking in with you on your word problem work um, for your Friday or Monday conference at the end of the week. Um, have a great time, y'all. Let me know if you have any questions.